you know what? I've got a fig tree here. And they have a lot of figs. Most of them are not. Oh, look at this. You can't see it. Let's look at these birds that are peck at them. They're lovely birds. But I like to eat some of my figs, right? So I was thinking the last couple of weeks of putting up a net. It's called a bird net. Pick it up, pick it up at Home Depot. 100 feet long, seven feet wide, cut it in pieces. But like an idiot, I didn't buy the net. What I did was something really smart. Very resolute, and I want you to know, I used incredible logic and wisdom and all the stuff I've learned from people all over the world that gave me extraordinary ideas about how to improve my life just by sharing with me their own stories and I'm learning from their own lives how they've resolved things, relationships with people, work, money, family, dynamics, embezzlement. I got that in my own family, right? So you know what I did? When I saw a bird eating from my, you know, eating one of my figs there, I was reading in my bedroom window here, and I thought I would tap the window to scare him off. And what I did was I smashed through the window, my hand. Didn't break anything. I got a little cut, small, I could handle it. The bird flew away. There's a metaphor here. As I keep knocking my head into my fig tree branches, that helps me. I want you to know I, I get smarter. I do. Thank you very much. I'll, uh, I'll be here all week. And I spent my afternoon running around fixing my window. And I put the net up. What's the moral of the story? Don't. Put your hand through a window trying to scare a bird. They don't care. They're gonna come back later and eat more of your fakes. <laughs> I'm like, man, eat them all. I mean, eat, eat, but not, don't eat them all, but eat the entire thing. You know, call your friends. Say, hey, I was starting on this one fig. Dude's pretty cool. And yada, yada. Eat the whole thing. Don't be wasting food. Nature. That's dumb. This is the human experience. Living every day. Enjoying this weather. Enjoying my garden. Listen to some lectures and documentaries and stuff. Being present and being quite grateful for all the things that are going well and are going good in my life. And that's a lot of them, in spite of the roller coasters. This is how it works. Okay. I want everyone to have a lovely day. Ciao for now. Bye-bye.